Let's get right to it. Data sourcing and data pre-processing combined are around 80% of the work of a machine learning engineer. However, most people can't tell you exactly what that is or what's involved. These are two separate things. The time you spend on both is going to depend on where your data is located and how clean it is when you source it. Most of the data you're going to model as a machine learning engineer in the real world is going to be housed in structured data stores. It's the reason why most machine learning jobs list SQL as the top job requirement, or one of the top job requirements. These may be relational databases or data warehouses. Regardless of where that data is located, you're likely going to be using SQL to source that data. Now, this won't hold true if you're working in computer vision or NLP. Images and text aren't often housed in relational databases. However, this is a very small part of real-world machine learning. All right, back to sourcing your data. A database is a collection of objects. The most important object is the table. The table holds the data. Data is housed in many tables. As a machine learning engineer, you're going to need to know what data to use for what project. Once you know what features and columns you need, you'll need to author the queries you need to pull that data out of the data store. You're reaching into various tables in the database with a query to combine the data you need into a single entity. Once you have your data into a single entity or a single table, you're going to export some of that for cleaning and modeling. I rarely export more than a thousand rows or so. Now that you've exported some of your data to a CSV file out of the database, it's on to data cleansing. In the real world, data is dirty. That means it has errors and problems that you're going to need to fix if you want a well-performing model. Machine learning models are finicky things. If you don't give them the cleanest data, they're not going to give you the best results. Data cleansing is applying statistical techniques to your data. Here's an example of a data set with missing values. We don't want any missing values in our data set. In Python, missing values often show up as NANs. NAN is an acronym for not a number. In machine learning, we want to replace or impute them. There are various ways you can do this. I'd highly recommend a course on data cleansing to get a better understanding of how to find and deal with missing values. The course on LogiBot is a complete guide to data cleansing and one of the most important courses you're going to take as a machine learning engineer. Data sourcing is using SQL to combine and extract the data you need for modeling. Data cleansing is applying statistical techniques to your data in order to give your model the cleanest data possible. These two combined are what you're going to spend most of your time on. So learn them well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.